Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a small haul here today. I have some Chrissy and Design stickers that I ordered from the website, and then I have some other, some Chrissy and Design stickers, and then a planner that I actually got off of the Macari website. I do like to look at those BST pages um, before ordering sometimes just to see what I can, what kind of deals I can get. So this is going to be a short haul, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So first I will start with a few stickers that I've purchased. This is a Chrissy and Designs sticker booklet. I don't know if you can get this in stores. This is one of the ones I believe that was sold at Michael's or online. I don't know. I got it on Macari. Um, somebody was selling it on Macari and I wanted it. My plan is to pull it out of this book and put it in my Chrissy and Designs binder. So it does have, so when I open it up, it does have on this, like, don't forget. You can see that it's kind of misprinted a little there with the foiling and kind of fuzzy, but I really don't care. That's like the only mistake I see on this book. Um, so it's the winter bucket list. And this is like a glossy, like a glossy matte type paper. It's not the vinyl paper that you get on her website. So, and then the spring bucket list. And there's no misprints in the middle on this one. So it was just that first one, I think, which is fine. I mean, I got a really good deal ordering it off of Macari. I usually try to check sites like that or BST pages before I go and... Um, buy something at some of the big box stores and such. So this is the fall bucket list. And then did I skip a page now? Okay. So then I really like this because it has just some months and this was obviously, I mean, it's an older book. It's 2019. I won't be using those stickers, but you know, for, I think I, I think I might've gotten this for like $6 or something plus shipping. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it to me anyway um and I like these birthday stickers I love these little candle ones I really hope that um Chrissy and Designs I hope they put out another book like this I can't get this to open so different days so this will go along with my collections binder stuff too um so here's more and then there's some numbers in the back Oh goodness, I can't get the pages apart. There we go. And then some more date dots and date flags. And that's the end of the book. So for buying this secondhand, it hasn't been used. Um, you know, all of the stickers are there. I really love the font and things like that. I think it was a good deal. So I'm gonna be taking this out and putting it in one of my Christian Design binders. I'll do a video at some point of organizing those in the binders, because just not today. Okay, so then the next order I have is actually a Christian Designs order. Um, I've been kinda little obsessed with her shop lately. Um, I just really love the quality and um, she's been putting out a pretty regular schedule, you know, the $2 Tuesdays and then new releases on Fridays and um, I don't know. I probably should have a little bit of self-control on that, but I have not. So um, these are the, I'm looking at the receipt now, these are the coordinates to go with the collections binder. So here is one of the ones. Now this here matches, this freebie matches the um, St. Patrick's Day um, kit, which I have in here. Of course I end up pulling it out, right? Um, so here's the St. Patrick's Day kit from the collections binder I didn't end up using it this year but you'll see that the the sampler matches perfectly so this is one that I would put um 
with the stickers for this. I'll put like a page protector in here and slide this in here so that when I do use this, I know it matches with this. Um, so that is the freebie. Okay, and then I got, um, this is the coordinates back to school kits. I really like the colors, just like the primary colors in this. So this I will use when it's um, my kid's first day back at school in August of this year. So I have that. And then I got the big washi pages and it's got some of the little washi. Um, I really like this one with the crayons and the backpack and the scissors and the globe, and the calculator, and pencil and paper. And then I also got the regular washi page. And then full boxes and half boxes, quarter boxes. I said full boxes, I misspoke, but half boxes, quarter boxes, labels. And then for this one, um, the event labels, I forgot to order. I thought I did. And so I already have another order in with some other stuff. And I added on the event labels for this one too, because I like to have them in the same colors. Not that I'll necessarily use it with this kit, but I like to have all the colors to pull from. Okay, then the other kit I got is the Summer Coordinates. So this one is so super cute with the Steve right there. And then here is some full boxes and date covers, all the Steves, icons, dots, and the small washi. I don't think I got the big washi on this one. I just got the small washi. I really liked the popsicles and the swimsuits. And then this one here as well with the half boxes, quarter boxes, and labels. And then again, on this one, the appointment labels, I thought I ordered and I didn't. So that's in another order to come later. So that's it for Chrissy and Designs. All right. Okay, so the next thing that I got, um, it is like planner launch season and I know that I want, what I want to order um, when Erin Condren does their, their launch, um, but I also have been really interested in checking out the new version or this year's version of the Moxie Life. So again, I got this on Macari. Somebody was selling it. Um, they decided they weren't going to use it and I got a good price for it. So I went ahead and got it. Um, so this is the Moxie Life um, Weekly and it's the coiled version, not the wire O version. And it's got the hard cover on it. And I think this is this is going to be more for um, goals um, and progress on their goals and reflection on goals. Um, I might not even use all of the weekly pages in this. I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to get the companion notebooks or one of these goal planners. But the planners what showed up on the discount on Macari, and so and not paying full price for trying it. And so that's what I went with. Um, so I have used Moxie Life in the past. I had one of the Wire O original flagship um, planners, but it was just too big for me. This is an undated six month version. And um, I have noticed in my patterns of planning that even with like my weekly planner or memory keeping, I tend to go in six month spurts before getting a new planner. The books get rather large. Um, so I think this might be a better size. So the Moxie Life paper is very smooth. And in the front, it goes through the goal setting system. Um, and all of this, I mean, for a brand new planner and the discount, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, the compass system, compass assessment, going through, I'll be going through and doing all of this um, stuff. I really like the updated, this is the new one, the updated colors, they're, they're more of a jewel tone, um, not as bright, all of the steps, so it has all of to walk you through it, through the process. Um, 
So, and then this page here is actually my favorite page because when going through those steps and trying to figure out your goals, you, sometimes you really get stuck in what the category means. So this breaks down thing breaks down things in the categories. Words are are just not working for me today. Um, so and then a place for a mind map, and then setting some annual goals. Um, like I said, I think this is going to be more of a setting six month goals, not annual. Um, but I'm I'm going to be tweaking it to work. For me which is i mean it's definitely what you should do in your your planning your goal setting everything always make things work for you just because it's works for somebody else out there in instagram or youtube or whatever doesn't mean it's what works for you so um and a place for the vision board um so here is what i really like since it's undated i can go back to it as needed um it comes with these labels that are really hard to pick up on camera but these are clear labels with white um, script on them that I can put on the tabs here for the month. So whatever month I end up working with this on, I can put on those tabs. So the monthly is nice and streamlined. There isn't a lot of color. I, it means it's an open canvas for me to do whatever I want. And then for each month, you can set your goals, what you're going to focus on in that month. I found last time I did this system, setting monthly goals in every single category ended up being a bit overwhelming and um, really kind of stopped me from those goals. So this is going to be more of, for me this time, choosing a few each month to focus on um, personal, health-wise, family-wise. The work section is really, that all ha gets handled in my teacher planner and work stuff there. So that's probably not a section that I'm going to be doing in this planner because I already have another process for that. So um, after that, you have your reflections page for that week, the weekly actions. These are the steps that you're going to do filling this out before you get to your week of checking things off. Now, here, I think instead of it being a to-do list, this is going to be more of a memory reflection going back on what I did to reach my goals, how I'm feeling more of a journaling. So I don't, I haven't decided if I'm really going to film what goes in here, but we'll see. And then the habit trackers are on the sidebar and I love that they still have the cute hearts at the bottom for a little moment of gratitude. So, and it just repeats. And since it's undated, I can come back to this at any time. Um, and they have some really pretty text on each of the dividers with some positive words. At the end of the month, oh, I didn't go over that. At the end of each month is a monthly reflection to help you look at how you worked with things that month, what worked for you, what didn't. Um, I have found in the past that sometimes this isn't enough room. You can always continue it on this or add another page in um, just tip it in with some washi or whatever. So um, it goes through the six months. And then at the end of the six months, you do another assessment on your compass to see where you're at. And then there's um, at the end of the quarter, you have um, a quarterly assessment and you can make some future plans here in the back um, for what's coming up, what's next. And some more reflections on that quarterly assessment. Um, and then some lined paper in the back. I really do like this paper. It It is not as sticker friendly. For those of you who like to use a lot of stickers, it will peel up if you don't use undo. Um, the Christian Design stickers work really well, the vinyl ones, because they peel up on just about any paper. Um, but you still do need to be careful. And it comes with um, some of the Moxie Life stickers and for to mark your stretch goals and some dots and flags and labels and then their icons. And in the back is a little pocket and close it up. I don't imagine that this is going to be something that I'm taking with me. Um, this will stay at home. Okay, so that's the end of this small haul. I'm really looking forward to working in this Moxie Life undated um, planner. I think it's going to be very useful for goals and to kind of bring dial things down a little bit compared to the larger one that I've tried in the past. Um, I'm looking forward to using some of these Christian Design stickers and 
Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Enjoy that nice weather out there and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.